St. Jose Maria Escriva said, the Holy Rosary is a powerful weapon. Use it with confidence and you'll be amazed at the results. There's so much going on in the world today. One person can't physically do everything, but there is a way for all people to have tremendous influence even when they don't know what to do. They can pray. Countless saints have lauded the rosary. The rosary is a powerful prayer because it unites our prayers and intentions with those praying the rosary around the world and brings them to our Blessed Mother. When I considered what it would be like to give rosaries to as many people as possible, I was very excited at the possible results. The more people we have praying the rosary, the more tremendous of an impact we can have. For over three years now, I've been making rosaries. It began with a Catholic Schools Week project in my freshman religion class. My religion teacher got cored for making knotted rosaries. During the week, we spent time learning how to form the knots. It was pretty difficult at first, but after many attempts, I had learned how to successfully make the knots. By the time I had finished my first rosary, yes, that one, I was hooked. Shortly afterwards, I started making more. What came with me making rosaries was an increase in me praying the rosary, and what came with an increase in me praying the rosary was a greater understanding of the significance of the rosary. This was something I wanted to share with others, but as I became more aware, I noticed the lack of rosaries. My church didn't have any available, and I knew many students didn't have much exposure to the powerful prayer either. I continued to make a number of rosaries, but I wasn't quite sure where to start with giving them. The answer found me on November 2nd, 2015. I had recently started my sophomore year. The same teacher who, just a few months earlier, had caused me to start making rosaries in the first place, approached me. She asked if I would donate 15 rosaries to the mission boxes her parish was sending to Uganda. I was beyond excited to help her with this, and almost immediately after she asked, we came up with a plan to do a rosary-making service project at school. Now that the ball was rolling, I made and donated rosaries to other places. I donated enough to my home parish so that they could be sent out in two different places, by the chapel and by the confessional. I also gave some to my grandma's church. And shortly before my confirmation, I made rosaries with my confirmation group. One of the people in my group brought them with her on a mission trip to Honduras. That year, I organized and led a rosary-making service project for all three sections of the sophomore religion class. I brought my supply of cord, plastic beads, and centerpieces and crucifixes, and made knotting tools out of plastic drinking straws for my classmates. Because the beaded rosaries we made that time were different than the knotted ones we'd made the previous year, I had to show my classmates how to make the rosaries. At the end of that project, it was very successful. The rosaries my class made were donated to a local nursing home, and we also enclosed them in cards we made in class and then sent them to people who were encountering difficulties in their lives. Last year, my junior year, I embarked on my biggest project yet. I, along with a small group of other students, made rosaries for four fifth grade classes and two second grade classes in the system. In about two months, we made nearly 100 rosaries. The fifth graders received theirs during Catholic Schools Week. And, after First Communion, two of us who made the rosaries delivered the rosaries to the second grade classes who had received them. The students there were very excited to receive them. A few of the students even came up to me to hug me. Since then, the project has continued to grow. This school year, I've been leading a group of students who have made rosaries during lunch. During Advent, there were usually about 15 students making them at lunch. The project will start up again shortly in Lent. When we're finished, the rosaries will be given to more elementary school students. Additionally, I'll be leading a project for my sister's confirmation group. These rosaries will be given to our parish's first communicants this spring. I've lost count of how many rosaries we've made. I know it's well over a hundred. These rosaries are now in the hands of young and old, both locally and globally. I might never know the full extent of the spiritual benefits for any of the people who have prayed with a rosary I helped make, but I do know that the more people pray the rosary, the bigger the impact on the world will be. The rosary is the weapon for these times, remarked St. Padre Pio. He's right. Only through prayer can we make a meaningful change in the world. I'm humbled to be a part of that.